Tektronix provides a variety of patented displays that simplify camera setup applications, allowing you to make quick adjustments of your video signal. Today, we're going to be using the WFM5200, but these same displays are available in a variety of Tektronix waveform monitors and rasterizers. Tektronix developed the patented lightning display to monitor the three components of a YPBPR signal. A traditional vector display is an XY plot of the color difference signals and provides little information of the LUMA signal component. If we turn the LUMA signal off on this color bar test pattern, it makes no change to the vector display. The lightning display is constructed as an XY plot of LUMA versus PB in the upper half of the display and negative LUMA versus PR in the lower part of the display. In this way, it's easy to identify the component in error. To access the lightning display, select the vector button for a tile or full screen display. Push and hold the vector button brings up the menu. Select the display type using the arrow keys or general knob and press select to toggle between vector and lightning displays. Press the vector button again to dismiss the menu. When a color bar signal is applied, either at 75% or 100%, the signal should fall within the boxes, similar to a vector display. Make sure to select the appropriate vector graticules for 75% or 100% within the menu. The user can quickly identify the component in error and make adjustments to the LUMA in the vertical direction and CHROMA in the horizontal direction. There is no need to switch between waveform and vector displays. It can all be done simply within the Tektronix lightning display. The lightning display can also be used for checking inter-channel timing of component signals using a color bar test pattern. Provided the signal falls within the graticule boxes, then the green magenta transitions can be used to determine the timing. Tick marks are shown in the graticule for the timing difference. If the transition bends outwards towards white, then the color difference is leading LUMA. And if the signal bends inwards, then the color difference is delayed with respect to LUMA. For live signals, the user can apply gain and magnification to show the signal around the black region and make adjustments easily to set the black level. If adjustment is required in the upper part of the display, this is Y and PB components. And for the lower part of the lightning display, Y and PR adjustments can be made. Watch our other video tutorials to see how to use the diamond display to balance a camera quickly and easily. For more information, go to www.tech.com slash video and make sure to call your Tektronix representative to schedule a demo.